Capitol leaders are remembering a pioneer of the state's redistricting process. Dr. John Flato recently passed away. His services were held today in Brooklyn. He was a commissioner on New York's Independent Redistricting Commission and dedicated much of his life to public service. On News to ABC's Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine telling us how his legacy is being remembered in the state Senate. Dr. John Plateau spent his career making sure New Yorkers were properly represented in government. Charlie Nesbitt, Republican Vice Chair of New York's Independent Redistricting Commission, says his sudden passing is a great loss. He had a wide political experience and also was involved in redistricting both in the state and in New York City. So to our uh, meetings and deliberations, he brought a real depth of knowledge, especially about uh, the city of New York. Jeff Weiss, adjunct professor at New York Law School, says Flateau's legacy includes a federal court case known as Flateau versus Anderson. John was the lead plaintiff in uh, forcing the New York legislature to redraw its districts uh, back in the 1980s. The state Senate Republicans at that point wanted to wait six years to uh, draw the lines after the 1980 census. And John wasn't about to let that happen, and that case was successful. He was a tremendous champion of justice, and his unwavering dedication to civil and voting rights has profoundly shaped New York and, frankly, our nation. Flanteau's career also expanded into academia. The New York State Senate renamed a bill in his honor. The John L. Flateau Voting and Elections Database and Academic Center of New York Act passed in the Senate on Monday. The bill regulates public data maintained by county and city boards of elections. It's sponsored by Senator Zelnor Myrie. I would not be standing here today if not for Dr. Flateau's leadership, him not paving the way for people that look like me to enter into the elected space. Stuart Cousins says at this point, it's unclear as to when his position on the Independent Redistricting Commission will be filled. This is such a sudden loss for us that, um, you know, obviously, you know, I'm beginning to think about it and to see who would be able to fill these um, great shoes. So, again, it's, it's something that, that I'm looking at. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine.